Good morning. Believe it or not, this is the entrance to the world famous Full Moon Party here in Hadron and Koh Phangan. And it looks very different when you're very sober and it is daylight. You can just see the remnants. There's a few people scuttling around. It looks very, very post-apocalyptic and abandoned. So today what we're doing, we've got another five pound challenge and we are in the southernmost part of Koh Phangyang in Hadrin and we're going to try and make it to the northernmost part of Koh Phangyang called Koh Mao. Koh Ma, I think it is. And we've got a budget of five pounds which is 211 Thai baht and we could take a bus, we could take a taxi but that's probably going to be more expensive than the budget allows. So what I'm doing today is I've rented the bike. I've actually rented this bike longer term. That's why it's cheaper. So in Koh Phang Yang, there's a million bike places for rent where it's about 200, 200, between 200 and 250 Thai baht per day, which is quite expensive. So what I did when I arrived was I went to a bike rental place and I was like, I don't want a nice bike. I want the shittest bike you have because it's going to be cheaper. So it was like, okay. So eventually I got one. It works out a thousand baht per month, which is about 85 baht per day, which is cheap, cheap. So we're going to take that bike, we're going to introduce you to the bike and then we're going to start moving and we're going to head from the south to the north and we're going to see what we see along the way. Join me. So you've now met Underdog, I'm glad that you're friends and we're just outside Hadrin and we're outside this beautiful looking, it looks like it could be a temple but it's not, it's actually a hotel or more specifically an abandoned hotel but I want to show you this sign outside so you've got restricted area do not enter authorized personnel only photography or filming of pornographic videos is prohibited if found guilty will notify the police immediately how many times have they caught people filming pornographic material inside that they felt they had to include the sign that's what I'm interested in. Now, I don't do that type of photography, so it shouldn't be an issue for me. So I'll show you inside quickly. It does look absolutely incredible. I would love to stay there. I don't know how this place went out of business. It does look like such an awesome hotel. I have no idea why it would go out of business. Come on, underdog, go, go underdog, go, 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 go. Monkey in the road, monkey. Are you friendly or are you going to be evil? Are you an evil monkey? I don't want to get too close. I don't trust monkeys. I got robbed by a monkey in Thailand once. It stole my water bottle, clean out my hand. So we just stopped in Tong Sala and the reason I've stopped here is we're just next to the port like where the ferries are which arrive and I spotted this I can't believe it. I've been here a month and I've never seen this before and I think you might like it so what we have is a former naval battleship that is being repurposed I'm not going to tell you what it's been repurposed as at the moment I'm going to show you because you're probably not going to believe me but we'll take a look at the outside first so as we walk along this battleship at the moment if you imagine of all the things it could have been converted into, I would go for like a restaurant, I would go for a bar, maybe a nightclub, something along those lines. You can maybe turn it into like a paintballing venue. They've not went for any of those. So this ship has been converted into an aviary, effectively a massive pigeon coop. How cool is that? So we're in Tong Salau on the outskirts, we're still heading north, but I just had to stop. I'm not even taking a helmet off for this one, but it's not often that you see a full-blown English pub in the middle of Thailand. So I'll show you just now. We've got, it's called the Tavern, and uh, it looks like it should be in English, or it should be in England, sorry. And the guy cleaning the tables just now has, to his eternal discredit, an England football top on. But yeah, if you want a pint, you know where to come.
Well, we're nearly at Coma, our final destination. The trouble is, on the way here, you've got to traverse this road, and it is a bit tricky. I would not recommend doing this one-handed, holding a GoPro. I would not recommend. So as we walk to the beach, I've got the uh, 25 baht hat back on as part of my outfit. So I said in the last video, when I had the uh, five pound outfit challenge, that I would wear it for the next one. So I'm gonna give a quick review. The t-shirt that was 20 baht is holding up very well. It is a bit tight, but that's more the beer's fault rather than mine. The shorts are holding up well. They've not split. The uh, zips are still working on the pockets. The letdown of the whole outfit is in fact the flip-flops. I'll show you. So. You can see, I've been wearing them today, and today only, and the uh, pattern's starting to wear off already. And honestly, 60 pence, and you just don't get quality anymore. Let's go to the beach. So I've managed to sneak in. I don't have to pay anything, I've not bought anything. And here we are, so we've got the island dead ahead, and this is where we're gonna go. This is the most northern point on Koh Phangan. I failed, I can't get there. So looking ahead, the last time I was here, there was a sandbank that went all the way up to the island. You can see there's people wading across. So it's not that deep, but I do have a GoPro, my smartphone and a drone in the bag as well. I was hoping that I could get some drone footage of here because it is a really cool spot, but there's just a lot of people on this beach at the moment. And I feel like a creep at the best of times. So I'm gonna skip the drone footage for today, but yeah, I can't believe I can't actually get to the island. Technically, I'm here. This is the most northern point. If the access is blocked to the island, then this is it. It's the most northern point. So I'm going to call that a win. So as I can't get to the island, what I've done instead is I've done some maths. So the budget was five pounds, 211 Thai baht. The premise was, can you get from the south to the north of Koh Phangan? We've definitely proven that's the case because the bike was so cheap. It works out at 85 baht per day. So that left us with still quite a considerable amount. Even after the price of fuel for the bike, I reckon I use about 40 baht in fuel, so like a litre and a half, something like that. We're left with 86 baht in change. And that's enough to buy a beer in a restaurant or a bar. So yeah, we've definitely proven you can go from south to north for five pounds. I hope you enjoyed it.